we worry about what a child will become tomorrow yet we forget that he is someone today children who do you call our children one who is born to cherish every moment of his life or the one who is confused with his own soul have you people ever thought of an instance that why the ratio of child abuse is increasing in our country let me tell you it is increasing because nowadays children become the source of income for their family they start working in a community of low graded people because they do not have enough income to support their family they become victim of child labor and when these children go outside to find some work people take them for granted and use them for their own purpose out of 10% children 9.99% children hesitate going outside to find an employment because they know there will be no one to take care of their self respect and at the end they will be abused by their own society children are one third of our population and all our future but one out of every children becomes the victim of child abuse one out of every 3 girls are sexually assaulted under the age of 18 51% girls aged 15 to 19 years who experienced sexual abuse never told anyone about it every 2 seconds child is abused and 5 out of every child abuse cases are not reported because their family is financially unstable to support their case as you can pick up the data from the various uh, authentic sources there are three sides uh, three facetted sides that i believe one is the country economic system underdeveloped system of course poverty level below poverty level people are compelled to sell their children second education system and setup of the country and then of course the family culture and family structure of the society where social and moral values are you know far gone and uh, we uh, are you know subject to such kind of mal uh, practicing uh, event uh, people organizations who have their malicious uh, you know objectives uh, which are being fulfilled these children are of course sexually humiliated molested they are sold uh, elsewhere outside the country as well and they are made to work under uh, illegitimate contracts for years the biggest example of child abuse case in asia is the kasim scandal in which a gang of 20 to 25 men filmed up to 400 videos of child sexual abuse of about 280 children of the same family which in kasim we here are mostly presented with the children or the victims of the child abuse and uh, in most of the cases uh, as we came to know the culprit is one of the member of the family or some family friend the children uh, who are suffering from this kind of mental and physical trauma in their later life they experience or they suffer with many of the issues related to psychology or psychiatry definitely the fact is very devastating and disastrous in itself um the physical first of all physical appearance is very disheveled lack of hygiene the child uh, the body language of the child is not very uh, welcoming or not very you know proper he is not in a way the child is supposed to be so um but when we talk about the mental effect they are far more devastating than the physical problems the child is not um very keen on trusting other people he doesn't talk much he doesn't play with his friends uh definitely this adds up to anxiety and depression and in a particular we are the worst country for having worst laws against the child labor you should go ahead you should take a step ahead
we should snap all those right, who are you know doing all these activities. I'm strictly against it. I do not have any child at my home coming to do labor for me. No. They should go to school. Learning should be the first priority. We should we should support them. 32% girls aged 15 to 19 years sought help from the sources to stop the violence. People ask, how can a person abuse a child? I ask, how can so many educated people not do anything about it? Uh, we need to take some initiative and we have to educate our children that whenever they feel some kind of threat like that, they should not be afraid and they should not hesitate uh, and they should raise their voice. It is not the education that teaches you the morality of others. Rather, it is the society that does not allow these children to live because according to them, they are useless and are left in easy centers. But who tells them it was not done deliberately by them? Rather, it was the fault of our own society. I believe sexual molestation, uh, sexual harassment, it, it should be strongly countered and the human activists or humanitarian uh, organization or NGOs should take a stance to, you know, uh, educate people about this sensitive issue of child abuse. We should make laws. We should make laws. It is easier to build strong children than to repair the broken ones. Don't you think childhood should be carefree, playing in the sun, rather than living a nightmare in the darkness of the soul? Not only in our country, but around the globe, children are becoming victim of child abuse. So, empower your child against the silent crime. Say no to child abuse.